First go. Last time, how did I begin? I started with like, what's the amount? And then I took 5% of that. 5% of it, so I could work out how much to add. Okay, so here what's different is I'm decreasing, and so I'm gonna be, not adding, I'll be subtracting later on, okay? But I still wanna work out 60%, that's how much I will be taking away. So, here's my amount, $440. To find 60% of it, I will multiply by 60 over 100. That's the 60% in there. Okay, and some of you have noticed and told me, oh, 60 over 100, that's six over 10, that's also three over five. They're all equivalent fractions. They will all give you the same answer, okay? So when you do that, we're gonna get a number, right? Has someone already calculated what 60%? Yeah, Daniel at the back. Oh, 60%, um, yeah. 264. 264, exactly? Yeah. yeah, does that check out? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. good. So now I've worked this out. That's like at this step. So <laughs> I'm trying to work out now what's left over, the answer. How am I, going to, am I going to use that 264, Jamie? 440 minus 264. Yeah, fantastic. There, note that minus sign. In fact, you might even like to point to it and say there's the decrease, right? Instead of the, oh, sorry, instead of the increase, which became a plus, right? So that's why I'm taking away that 264. Okay, so someone got a final answer for me. Yeah, Courtney? 176. Who agrees? Yep. Excellent. Fantastic. Okay. Now, just before we leave off this and you guys can have a go at the rest, how would I do this the other way, which is a bit quicker, but maybe requires a bit more thought to it? Here's my clue. Starts off with 440 again, but what shall I do with it? Hmm. Any takers? Did anyone get to the second method yet? All right. Let me walk you through it. Pay attention carefully to how I did it here and what I actually multiplied by, right? So I'm gonna multiply again, okay? And I am gonna multiply by something over 100, it's a percentage, right? But the question is, well, what will I have left? Okay, because here it's like 100 <laughs> plus a bit more, it gets bigger, right? So here, I'm gonna have something less, yeah, right? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna have 40 up here because when you take away 60%, out of 100, you're left with 40%. There's that 40 over 140%, okay? So this is going to land you one, two steps exactly here. You can go to your calculator and you can double check it. That it'll give you 176 directly, okay? Because it's really taken that 60 over 100 away, but it's built into that one line, okay? Both of these approaches are fine. You have to think a little bit more to get there, but it's quicker in terms of working, all right?